Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Why does the Seattle Muslim community reject terror and reject extremism? This is incredibly important to kind of have an understanding of the reason we reject this. And on top of that, to know for a fact that, that the Muslims in Seattle and the Muslims in Washington State are free from the evil actions and evil decisions and evil ideologies and extremist ideologies which contradict Islam and contradict human values and morals, universal values. The reason, the first reason we reject these evil types of action, number one, because Islam is free from terror and all forms of evil and it encourages good deeds. What is the proof for this? Is it just me speaking, giving my philosophy? The first proof is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Allah says by the time all of mankind is in a loss. So Allah affirms for us that mankind is in a loss. Then He says, He says except those who have faith, those who believe. And they do righteous deeds. In that portion of the verse, we know, we learn, we understand the Islamic position regarding terror and so forth is that Islam rejects all evil. And Islam, the Muslims are encouraged to be believers, to believe in Allah and believe in His Messenger وسلم, and everything He came with and to do righteous deeds. That's what Islam says. That's what the Quran says if you want to know. The second reason Muslims in Seattle reject terror and re uh, reject terrorist ideologies is because it contradicts Islamic values and it is considered sinful to be a person of terror and a person of a terrorist ideolo uh, ideology. Allah says in the Quran what means whoever kills an innocent person it is like he killed all of mankind. This is what the Quran says. Go to the verses of the Quran and you'll understand this. The Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, Kul amintu billahi That uh, uh, the Prophet wasallam says, say, said, say, believe in Allah and then be straight. There's absolutely complete contradiction between being straight and being on a terrorist methodology. They just don't go together. Islam calls you to good and righteous deeds, but those individuals distort the message of Islam to suit their own desires. And this is a characteristic of all the people of deviance and misguidance. And, with the, and, and in our time, one of the individuals who was recently killed, which was Osama bin Laden, the scholars of Islam, the scholars of Ahl Sunnah, the scholars of, of the Salafis, have been rejecting these individuals and speaking about these individuals way before most of the people in the West could even had imagined an individual like this exists. All the way before when uh, Osama came back from Afghanistan. Scholars like Sheikh Muqbil bin Hadi al wadi you'll find it in his books and tapes. Uh, uh, Abdulaziz bin Baz Rahimahumullah Ta'ala Both of them spoke about him Said he was a person of misguidance He was a person uh, uh, of, of destruction This is all recorded in documented history So we reject those values The Islamic, sound Islamic creed Rejects those, those terrorist uh, extreme ideologies The third reason Why the Seattle Muslim community Rejects those ideologies is because it encourages harm, animosity, destruction of life and property. And that has never been a part of the example that we have set in the communities of the Central District, in the communities of, uh, of SeaTac, in the communities of Tukwila, in the Tacoma area, and all of those places where you find Muslims in Northgate. You do not find the people adhering to those ideologies but rather you find that they have a cooperation with the general community. And this is why you find individuals accepting Islam. Not because individuals are talking about blowing up things or, uh, or, or causing harm, physical 
mental and spiritual harm to others? No. But you find people embracing Islam because they say, hey, I like those actions of those Muslims. I like those examples of those Muslims. I like the way those Muslims speak to me and treat me and give me respect. This is what Islam calls, calls you to. And what is the evidence from the, uh, the Quran? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that if those individuals were actually following the way of the Prophet sallallahu this is the way to be loved. The way to be loved by Allah is by following the Messenger of Allah who said, the Prophet ﷺ said, La dharar wa la dirar. He said, there is no harm and there is no causing harm. This is a statement, an authentic statement of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam. And what verifies for us and those extremists who went astray and who are deviant and do not represent the Muslim community anywhere, if those individuals truly loved Allah and they truly loved the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and loved Islam and practiced Islam in its correct way, then they would follow the statement uh, of not causing harm nor being harm, no, nor being harmful. And this it goes in accordance with the statement of Allah where He says, "Kul in kuntum tuhibun Allah, fatabiuni yuhibukum Allah, wa yafirukum dhulubukum, wallahu bufurun rahim." This is a statement where Allah says in the Quran, He says, say, and He said this to the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ, that He should articulate this to His community. He said, say, if you love Allah, then follow me, meaning follow the example of the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ, and Allah will love you, and He will forgive you of your sins, and Allah is the most forgiving, the most merciful. So that shows us what? that we have to follow the example of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam not these foreign ideologies that are extremist uh, uh, f- fanatical ideologies but rather we follow the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who said that there is no harm and there is no causing harm so if you love Allah and follow the way of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam you'll follow his example in totality because he said ma min shayin atkulu fi meizan al mu'min yawm al qiyami min husn al khulq the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ said, There isn't a thing which is heavier on the scales of a believer on the day of judgment than having good manners. And this good manners is not restricted to only Muslims. It's restricted to non it's, it, it's inclusive of Muslims and non-Muslims. Meaning a Buddhist, a Hindu, a Christian, a Jew, whoever that it was not stipulated in this narration of the Prophet ﷺ, but rather we see his lifetime example that he visited even a, a sick Jewish boy on his deathbed. And his father told him, told the, the father told the, the young Jewish boy on his deathbed, he said, obey uh, Abu Qasim, you know, obey the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ. He obeyed him and he accepted Islam before he died. Why? Because of the good manners. This is what Islam encourages us to do. This is what the community in Seattle is all about. It's about setting a good moral foundation for the greater community. Not causing harm. So we reject all terror. And we reject all fanaticism. And we reject all kind of evil. And anything which, rege- which goes against the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from any and all forms of harm and protect the greater community from any and fa- all kinds of harm and to give us guidance to the truth.